gentlemen, and over the weekend, we have seen a few examples of some sliders gone wrong, bad sliders, good sliders, all opinionated, obviously, and it's been very interesting to see the internet sort of react. Now, for those who don't know what a slide job is, let me show you what a slide job is supposed to look like. This is a slide job done correctly, I would say. And, and this is an example from the leading sprint car earner in 2022, a guy named Brent Marks. There was a big race at Lincoln Speedway, 20,000 to win, and two PA drivers went at it. That was Anthony Macquarie and Brent Marks. And this actually happened right after somehow some way we still i still can't I, anyone who watched it still don't know how but danny dietrich landed on the front straightaway barrier between the barrier and the fence still don't know how that happened if you know drop a comment below and let me know and everyone else know who wasn't there or paying attention to danny dietrich when that occurred and after that incident occurred it was a five lap shootout between Anthony Macquarie and Brent Marks and Brent Marks pulled a really good slide job to take home $20,000 in the dirt classic at Lincoln Speedway good slider great slider by Brent Marks on Anthony Macquarie typically Macquarie would have got a little bit of a run and challenge there uh, to try to take the lead back but it looked like Macquarie made a mistake on the cushion at the worst time possible honestly for his benefit right as Brent Marks threw the slider, so wasn't able to cut the car underneath him and get that run down the back straight away. So Brent Marks picks it up. That's a slider going right. Now we have two questionable sliders out there in the racing world, and let's take a look at one, and some would call it a slider, maybe an attempted slider. Something had to happen or go wrong here. So this, this is the first one. This is uh, Williams Grove Friday All-Star Circuit of Champions, uh, the 13 of Justin Peck, uh, top runner in the Tony Stewart's All-Star Circuit of Champions, and then uh, series champion, defending champion, Tyler Courtney in the 7 car. Now we take a look at this as they weren't down the back straight away. A little bit of a slow-mo thanks to Loose Video, facebook.com slash loose video. Look them up on uh, Facebook. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what you would call that move. What would you actually call that? Would, would that be an attempted slider, ladies and gentlemen? Hold on, let's go back. What's, was that an attempted slider by Tyler Courtney? It looks like he threw it in there like it was attempted. I heard the track was really hooked up. Did Peck just not, it looks like Courtney knew about right here he had, you know, but at that point, just a little too late. Obviously, I heard the track was hooked up, so maybe Courtney got a or uh, Peck got a little bit bigger of a run, or or held his ground up there on that outside lane a little bit better than he thought he could. Um, but it definitely didn't work out too great for Justin Peck. And and when you pull a slider and you don't clear it like Brent Marks by a little bit. A, a, a decent amount look at what happens to Justin Peck out of the damn building over there he could have literally you know threw darts on the billboards over there at this point he's almost about to throw a dart into the billboard called his race car extremely unfortunate for uh Justin Peck and um just wow now another slider that apparently wasn't as heard around the world as this one but was with the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series up at uh, Hanford on Friday night. This one seems to not be getting, like, nobody knows what happened, although it included a PA racer in Logan Shuhart. And this is uh, one of those questionable uh, slider situations right here. Definitely interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So a lot of people missed out on this. Shuhart went across... Uh, the, 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 the track here on Macedo, Macedo had led every single lap. I really didn't think, I, I'm honestly thinking here, Macedo just, just didn't know that this was coming. Um, he had been dominant and, and so much all night long that he had never really ever been challenged at all. So right here, you could see a little bit earlier, you see how the bottom catches up, but off of turn two, that it really rockets, really daylights 
that bottom side of the racetrack. And you're pretty much coming to a dead stop right here. And Shuhart knew that he was going to be throwing this slider for 21000 Of course, the crowd was booing after the race. They were screaming at him, boo. Of course, this is Carson Macedo's kind of like home race. You had, uh, you know, it's the Tom Tarleton Classic, obviously. And for Shuhart to come in there and throw this last-minute haymaker with three to go to the most dominant car of the night, was definitely not a popular choice. You could see Macedo is a little upset. Threw it in. He could have been a little bit more upset. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I was honestly surprised because Macedo could have went down here, right here, and just... If, if, if that... Hold on. Let me show you something. If this was a typical California Saturday night, Friday night, King of the West or, or, or SCCT race... This 41 would have just plowed right through that 1S and sent it for a damn ride. I actually want to commend Carson Macedo because he is from California, and I don't know too many California drivers out there right now that would have... Would have you, we could see the, the nose get hit. We could see the nose dip here. Look, he pulls a wheelie. He's so pissed off. He couldn't believe it. But the nose dips right there, and I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, if the, I have a, a hard time believing... That if this was any other California race car driver out there at a regional local race, and this happened, this slider occurred, that that 41 car would have not lifted in ring three, and it would have stayed wide ass open and cold clocked that 1S off the damn racetrack and into the pits itself. So we got to give a big hand of a, a round of applause. Of course, Jacob Allen came in there, another Shark 1 2 finish, Shark Racing 1 2 finish in the state of California. Uh, they did it at the Gold Cup, and they did it there at Hanford. But we got to give a, a big clap to Carson Macedo for taking that hit, taking that questionable slider right there. And then we also got to give a big round of applause to Carson Macedo because going into turn three there, he literally could have went in there wide ass open. And, I, and I've seen the, the racing over there in California is known for beating and banging around. He could have done that. He could have went in there and sent that 1S for a ride. But we saw the, the, the throttle get lifted, the nose dipped down. He opted to not go in there and kick rail right off the side of him. So we got to get got to be a little lenient for Macedo there. And, and obviously, you know, Logan Shuhart getting it done. How he chose to get it done, is it right or not? If you're a Logan Shuhart fan, it's right. If you're a Carson Macedo fan, it's wrong. If you're judging it from the outside looking in, I think anyone who loves competitive sprint car racing likes to see a guy go for it, no matter who that guy is. And that's exactly what Logan Shuhart did. Can't say the same for Tyler Courtney. But in this instance, we're talking about sprint car racing. Anyways, that's what I think. Leave me what you think below. Want to let everyone know I just added some new products into the store. I really, really like them. Check these things out. I haven't been able to offer Flex Fit Mesh hats. They are now available. Different styles and colors. They got a light camo, a dark camo, traditional colors as well. A white, black, two-tone, as well as some new denim bucket hats for the winter time i know you think these are summer things and yeah they can be worn in the summer but hey these things look a little fluffy i'm ordering some myself i gotta buy them myself i ain't got inventory but you can get a little bit of inventory of the chaz's merchandise on long live the chaz links in the description go check out these new items that have just hit the block Go to the website, go to shop, then go to the Chaz if you're on a computer or just go to the shop. Scroll down, go to one of the pages. They are there. Check these out. If you want to help join the support, buy one as well. Put your name in the description once you buy one as a supporter. Hey, you, you buy uh, some merch of the Chaz. I'm only getting like 2 or $3 off the deal. But hey, you have just become a supporter of the Chaz when you're wearing the Chaz's merchandise. So go check it out. New items available in the store. Once again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We will catch you next time. And if you want to see me in person, I'll be hanging out next week with Tim Sims at the Eldora Speedway for the Four Crown. See you then. This is how we ride. This is how we do.